Taco Tuesday, everybody. How are y'all? I'm so glad to see you. Glad you made it through your weekend in one piece. Okay. What's going on, Lisa Blackman? Let me get a one. Oh, shit. Y'all done did it before me. Okay, Alex. Alex, I see you, Black Elf. All right. Okay. Y'all run things. Shit, I'm just here to assist. Y'all running this motherfucker. Thank you for the ones. What's going on, Eve? Poison Ivy's here. Lady Posh is here. We got Miss Angie641 up in here, introverted soul. Girl, where you been? How you doing? Huh? What's going on, Sean Q? Ladies, we got us a hell of a show tonight, okay? We have a hell of a show. Here's the thing. <laughs> Black women are everywhere. We're everywhere. We cutting a fool. We fighting. We're protesting. We're coddling. We're looking for acceptance. We swirl and still do mammy shit. This is why there has to be. I, 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 I get pissed. I can't front. I get pissed. When people see a black woman that's dating interracially and call her a divester. That's not true. That's not true, people. That's not even close to being true. What happens is this. Some of these black women know good and goddamn well that there's no hope for love, relationships, family, nothing traditional. In the Black community, it's been like that for eons. You understand me? It, they, they know this. But they still want love. They still want family. They still want something traditional. But check it out. 
So they find it outside of the black community and then they still want to pump their fists in protest. It's, it's, it's almost bipolar looking because you weren't able to, black men were your preferred man. They were, don't fucking lie to me. They were. So they didn't think enough of you to go ahead and give you what you wanted, which was a little bit of protection, a little bit of providing, because you was even willing to go 50, 50 with your stupid ass. <laughs> You was even willing to go 50-50. You were willing to give him as many babies and as much pussy as possible, but you still weren't worth a damn to him because what? Black men don't like black women. And you did the same shit with the multi-letter mafia. You all over the place, okay? Then we got the mammies, right? They do goofy shit. Let me just show you something real goofy, okay? Because I, I, need, I need some visual aids to go along with what I'm talking about. I had to scroll it up a little a little bit because I forgot to uh, take her name out of that. And I didn't want to, you know, come off as a bully and send people to her page. Do you see this? This is our internet presence. I remember I let a nigga fuck my face while I was laying down. And when he got up, my chest smelled like so much dookie. I ain't been normal since. Black women, what's, what's going on? Can I help you? What's, what's happening? I need to know what the fuck is happening. You talk one way one day. Then you talk the next way the next day. You date interracially. You let niggas fuck your throat, right? You ended up at the emergency room in that bare minimum. Your chest smelling like a sack of steam and shit. What the fuck is going on, y'all? I just need to, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going somewhere with all of this. Y'all, black women are in a state of an emergency. And that's why this is the emergency room. If you take a look at them, you don't know what to think. Because just last, what, the last two lives we had to mention, don't go over to people's house. And that she shouldn't have shot that girl. She shouldn't have shot that girl. And then I look back at you and it happens again. Hmm? But this time it's a black woman shooting your fucking ass. You quiet. Now I need to know something. I need to know something. Is it right to be pulling up at people's house or dawn? Because you had a fit and you turned into a SJW on me when it was the white bitch. Now, I just want to know, is it right to pull up on people's houses or no? Refer back to the last lives. I told you, you would see this movie again. Okay. Now, this is, it's almost as if, the universe is is playing with me right now because I said it was going to happen and then it perfectly happened again this time the shooter was black another black woman so I'd like to you I, I'd like to see you remain consistent and write the same shit you wrote when it came down to AJ about this situation this woman didn't die fortunately I guess if I how you look at it how you feel about her if you know her I guess you could say fortunately I don't know but ladies, y'all are getting just as violent towards each other, okay? And your narratives are never, ever consistent. It depends on who the players are, what your narrative is going to be. It's not right to pull up at other people's house in this instance with the, with the bitches in Louisiana. But it's okay to pull at people, up at people's house in Florida when it's a white bitch, right? Y'all do the same thing when it comes to dating, Okay. Y'all letting these niggas, and let me tell you something, nobody should be talking to you like shit. There. They shouldn't. Period. But you give niggas five billion chances for talking to you like shit and not providing or protecting and cheating on you. The very minute you with a white man and you want spaghetti and he says, no, I want tacos. Oh, my God. It's racist. Y'all's narratives are never that we, we just didn't see eye to eye. We didn't get along. Okay, you got 50 black eyes from Tyrone and an alternate dinner choice from Chad. And it's the same thing. Anyway, Aaliyah, I know you wanted to add something to this real quick before we move right along. Yeah, I'm glad you brought that story up because as usual, black women have their panties stuffed up their asses about something that we said. And here's the deal. And a lot of you just like to be coddled like your naked counterparts. See, you don't 
like the truth either or you want the truth watered down and see what y'all do is get up here y'all wanted us to get up here and attack the white woman and y'all wanted us to say it don't matter what she did she didn't have to shoot her see that's the stance y'all wanted us to take that's what you wanted us to say right but the reality is that she shouldn't have taken her ass to that woman's house knowing they didn't get along and had a clear history of beefing. That shit is just stupid. It's asking to get fucked up and it makes no damn sense. And that's just the truth. And see, y'all can choose to remain in this perpetual state of denial and delusion where you ignore obvious signs that somebody doesn't like you and you still think you're going to be allowed to run up on their property with the intent to attack or harm them. You can't be for somebody for months where y'all call the police and file reports force on each other regularly and then expect things to turn out well we've warned y'all several times on this channel about the dangers of going to people's homes on some bullshit it's up to y'all to choose to continue ignoring us and you will continue filling up body bags and caskets the choice is yours and you copping an attitude and just talk chalking shit up to us not caring about black women has to go like i said that shit is childish because even if that were the case it wouldn't make anything we said any less true. So get the fuck out your feelings. Listen, y'all, I'll be waiting. I want to see the same energy that you had about that iPad and the baby cane and pulling up to somebody's house because this black woman here, she pulled up to another black woman's house. And ironically, the same bitches that thought she shouldn't have shot, they shot. You see the irony here? The same bitches that said you don't shoot nobody for pulling up to your house shot a bitch that pulled up to your house. This is how, if y'all ever wanted to know the secret as to how I don't let these bitches get up under my skin, you should not care what mammies and black male identified motherfucking bitches think. They don't think anything. They don't think anything. They're going to push whatever makes them seem like a victim because they react the same way that that white woman did when it happened to them. This is like poetic justice. This is so weird. Fortunately, you didn't die about it this time. Okay? I want y'all to know, and I'm saying it out of my mouth yet again, you will see this movie again. There's going to be a haughty, nasty, aggressive mammy show up to somebody else's house. Now, who's going to be the shooter this time? I don't know. But one thing's for certain. I know black culture like the back of my hand. I grew up in black culture. You're going to see another one of these women get the shit shot out of them because they think they can go to people's house. That's the last thing you want to do. They have things called stand your ground. They have things called the castle doctrine. You could be mad at somebody, but what you better not do is show up to people's house. You better get into filing police reports. You better get into avoiding. You better get into ignoring. You better get into staying in your lane if you care about your safety. OK, because I care about your safety. That's why I tell you this shit. And, I, and that's the way I tell it to you, because that's the only way y'all hear. What? What am I supposed to say to you? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Pinky's up. I'm not doing that shit. That ain't me. Stop going to people's houses. Anybody got anything on any, on any of this before I go up and pull up on a swirler real quick? No. One, two, three. OK, let's keep it moving. Oh, deep breaths. I take a lot of them every goddamn day. Again, I didn't know who these people are until they cut the fool. Okay, this woman, her name is Denise Benton, and she's at the Tony Awards in this screenshot. She was given a speech. But just like every other black woman, whenever they get a stage, they have to mammy. They have to coddle another community other than you or the one that she came from. This woman grew up in Florida. She's 30-ish years old. She worked her way up and she's Broadway from my research. She, she's really successful in Broadway. And as soon as she's handed a microphone, she didn't say anything about black women's issues. She didn't have to say anything about any issue. She could have easily just said, thank you for the award. I appreciate you. Uh, God bless you. Good night. Whatever the fuck they say. Nope, not us, not us. We got to act a whole fucking fool. You know how it is, and oh my God, look at the phenotype. Would you take a look at the phenotype? We're always acting a damn fool every single time.
You just can't take your award and go sit the fuck down. So when she was giving her speech, she went on ahead and defamed, because make no mistake about it, that's what they what she did. She defamed DeSantis. Y'all know that motherfucking amazing zaddy that's the governor of Florida. Let me let me just play what she said. I, I can't show the actual video because of copyright shit, but listen to this whore. Hi, I'm Danae Benton, actor, <laughs> thank you, and proud CMU alum. Earlier tonight, CMU and the Tony Awards presented the 2023 Excellence in Theater Education Award. And while I am certain that the current Grand Wizard, I'm sorry, excuse me, governor of my home state of Florida. Was Did you hear that shit? No, don't do that. Did you hear that? Black women, please, I'm begging you to stop this shit. Now, she's going to be wondering later on when people are apprehensive to bring her up there again. Ladies, she called Governor DeSantis a grand wizard. If you're extremely young and extremely progressive, a grand wizard is the head of their chapter of the Ku Klux Klan. Now, if DeSantis wanted to clap back and he said you were sitting up there accepting your award looking like Hattie McDaniel, your motherfucking ass would have a problem. Stop starting shit when you can't fucking finish it. Your men don't have nowhere to put you. What you looking for, a BET award? What the fuck are you looking for? If he got his ass up there and said, oh, you kind of look like a slimmer version of Hattie McDaniel. You'd be calling racism and shit. You'd want him pulled from office. You'd want to boycott some shit. But here you go, calling the governor that simply want them to keep that bullshit out of children's face and get crime under control. A grand wizard. Really? Ebony, what you got? This woman is gorgeous to me. <laughs> She's beautiful. She is pretty. She's stupid as fuck. Well, I mean, I, I think we should um, keep your political proclivities to yourself when you are in a public forum. I will say it again. <laughs> keep your political. If you don't know your audience, if, and if your audience is everybody, keep your political proclivities out of the way this is stupid y'all this is dumb um here's your answer don't ever wonder why people take a second guess or a second breath when they're getting ready to write your name down to invite you to some shit seriously that was completely unnecessary baby girl that's unnecessary this was some sort of protest okay while she's up there being given an opportunity to give a speech what was she protesting, DZ? She was protesting the fact that she don't like DeSantis. She don't like his goddamn policies. She that don't has like nothing to do with her award, though. Uh, uh, that's where I'm going with it, right? We always do this shit. We could literally be having a fashion show for high heel shoes, okay? These bitches that come up and say, well, you should make them in a size 12 because all women don't have pussies. That's how they do. It's like, babe, can you please just enjoy? We some women over here having a, a fashion show. Can you please put your poster board down for just one second? Please and thank you. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Well, you know how black folk do. This is her husband. I can't. Aaliyah? Uh, see, I was not impressed, nor was I amused by her comments. The Tonys was not the time or place for that. And one thing black women will learn, even if it's the last thing, is not to burn bridges. Like you just said, DZ, black men don't have shit to offer you by way of shows, awards, nothing. Okay? 
So it was not smart to get up there and do that. And on top of that, she's married to a white man. So I don't think she'll be rewarded anytime soon on either side for making such comments. And I don't know if these black women are hoping to get brownie points for their public displays of loyalty and insubordination through disrespect and the willingness to throw away their entire careers for the purposes of going viral or for people who couldn't care less about them. But there's nothing more laughable than a pro-black swirler, seeing as how the term in and of itself is an oxymoron. It's an oxymoron. And see, I know this community only grants those pro-black swirling passes to black men. So I definitely don't think she'll be getting the cookies or the kudos that she was expecting from black people. And it's the fact that these pro-black swirlers can be so for the advancement of black people in the black community, yet can't even be bothered to marry or procreate with a black person. Just let you know how confused and ass backwards they are. And here's the rude awakening that a lot of people are not ready for. Way more people actually agree with Ron DeSantis than what you may think, because there's a huge segment of the population that's sick of these liberal policies, this anything goes mentality, and this woke and progressive bullshit that's ruining our communities and making our states unsafe. So I don't think it was the wisest decision in the world to insult him. And see, this is how you know that a lot of black people are really not that smart. First off, that racist card that she that she played it has been overplayed and is dead and buried. Secondly, if what she's saying is true, she may want to watch out because all that KKK talk did was actually get Donald Trump elected. And I'll let y'all read into that whatever you will. I just don't think it was a good decision because DeSantis has way more political experience than what Trump had. And given the state that Florida is in, her home state, as she pointed out, I'm sure that's a lot of people who want their state back from people who look like her. I'm just mm -hmm. saying. So mm -hmm. laugh all you want to, but you better be careful about who you call grand wizards. This don't make no sense, y'all. This is embarrassing. And on top of that, get this, ladies, get this. Y'all, it was a black woman that exposed who her fucking husband was. I shit you the fuck not. She up there fist pumping and calling wow. <laughs> call motherfuckers wow. goddamn grand wizard. And you fighting for them. And here they go exposing your whole goddamn life make it oh she's pro-black but she's sleeping white y'all know how these people talk let's keep moving down a little bit because uh, i ain't done uh ma'am the person that officiated your wedding i guess she's what uh it looked like a few grand wizards in the background back there um th these was the grand wizards that was in your husband's wedding party you are dumb you are dumb I hate that I even know who you are. I wish you would have never made that comment so I wouldn't have to know who you are because I really, honestly, on my kid's life, had no motherfucking idea who you were until you opened your Chad pleaser, we'll call it that, and uh, said the shit that you said. Snapple, can, can I get a little commentary? This is dumb. Yes. Um, I didn't know who she was either. I, when you said Danae, I thought we were still talking about that other lady. Um, <laughs> I hope that DeSantis sues her for defamation <laughs> i mean since you want to be big bad and bold calling people grand wizards and whatnot i love how her husband doesn't have any maker friends though i appreciate that um he's cute too um yeah she's she's it's terrible she's cute too i mean look i, I hate it when the mammy is cute because it's just a, such a waste but um but snap yeah, look at them grand wizards girl I, they were good. Yeah, look at them. I, I hope, you know, I hope this Santa's because you know what? She's a public figure. She's a celebrity. She want to talk big shit in front of an audience on a big major platform and call him that. That is extremely inflammatory. That is disrespectful to say the least. And I hope that her ass gets hit with some defamation paperwork. And you know, does the community they'll cry racism? Oh, he didn't have to do that, but she didn't have to get up there and call him that. Um, and like you said, Didi, she had an opportunity to advocate for something for black women. And she 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 did the other thing. That's what they <clears throat> always do. Every time somebody hands them a microphone, they start fighting for other folks. We was just up here talking about the shade room. Whenever it's time to drag somebody um got some background noise. But every time it's time to drag, you're 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 easy pickings. Let's just grab her. Let's talk about her hair. Let's talk about how she got cheated on. Let's talk about how she got dumped. All this shit here. 
But when it's time for some serious shit to go down, like bringing up the uh, homicide rate of any group, they never pick you, ever, ever. And those are some fine ass grand wizards up there. Make no mistake about it. Melody, you got something? Um, I just want to say I hate when these girls. Hey, everybody! I hate when these girls cut off their nose to spite their face. And not only that, she doesn't realize the the big backing and support system that this man who has a lot going on. They do not understand the backing and all the support that he has. She, she I'm voting she for him. She, yeah, she messed up. She really, really, really messed up with this. Mm. And I'm, I'm gonna... voting for DeSantis. Uh, she going to pay for it. And, Here's one thing about white people, y'all. They're very patient. Very, very patient. There won't be any immediate backlash. They're not like black folk where they're going to go ahead and clap back. You'll see some silly ass, low vibrational motherfuckers that, are, that will do so. But the people that got actual power, money, resources, that type of stuff, they'll wait. They'll sit and they'll wait. Sometimes they wait for years, okay? But she fucked up right then. I want you to know that shit. She fucked up. Do not put your career, do not put your livelihood, your image and all that shit on the line trying to take up for the Roy G. Bibbs and take it up for black males. You better stop that shit because you're going to be hungrier than a motherfucker. Kyra, what you got? Oh, I'm sorry. Melanie, if you wasn't done, that was my bad. Go ahead, Melanie. Oh, I was just gonna say one last thing. She's, you know, women like her, they're gonna be upset when after after they do stuff like this, the calls will be less, the roles will be less. Next thing you know, you're blacklisted. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they they've always done it that way, and I don't blame them. How the fuck you gonna sit up there and, and drag me when my whole your your whole fucking career is because we allowed you in a club that you you weren't supposed to be in. You actually were barred from being in that shit from back in the day. But whatever. Go ahead, Kyra. Good evening, DZ. Good evening, ladies. Well, she can always go work for a Tyler Perry Productions, but uh, <laughs> but I mean, you ladies have said Sorry. everything. <laughs> just to <Sorry>. be, <laughs> <laughs> but let's just be very clear. This actually isn't about whether you like DeSantis or not. It's about knowing when to shut your mouth and when not to be running your mouth, like. Y'all have said this is an in, that was an inappropriate venue to really voice any type of political opinion like that. She didn't have to come up. It would be inappropriate for her to say that she was for DeSantis. To be honest, she should have just, like you said, said thank you. Uh, you know, I'd like to thank my mama, God, whoever, and kept it pushing. And exactly, these black males have absolutely nothing. And what we talked about in Discord is a lot more people. A lot of people are over, shall we say, the T people. They're mm -hmm. over it. And a lot more people than you think are willing to consider the Republican Party because they're over the T people. So don't be surprised with a red wave. I can't wait to see what's coming up next because um, this, this nonsense has got to stop. This is a bunch of clout chasing. This is a bunch of trying to go viral because y'all y'all didn't know who this woman was. At least no. a lot of y'all didn't until she pulled this stunt and that stunt was pulled y'all black people are attention seeking motherfuckers they are the biggest attention seekers on earth why because they ain't they don't have shit else they've always been entertainers and shit like that dancing and rapping and playing ball and all that shit there well since the internet got created this is a perfect venue for attention whoring and ladies let me tell you i know that y'all hear me talk up here every goddamn week okay in my real life Ladies, the people that I deal with don't know DZ. They don't. I do not talk like this in public. You have to move strategically. You have to, okay? This type of talk is not acceptable anywhere because number one, black males are a protected class. And if, if you say anything about them, you're gonna be, it's gonna be an issue. And that goes for you. That goes for white men. It goes for everybody. When they talk shit about black men, it's over, okay? I rarely use profanity, believe it or not, when I'm in my real fucking life. That part, you have to move. You have to paint a picture of yourself that you that needs to be appropriate for whatever venue or whatever business or whatever you're doing. I didn't sit at my interview with my nursing agency trying to go to England and all these different places that I traveled to, right? And said, yeah, I'm, here go my motherfucking license. Here's the license number. I'm ready to get on the plane, bitch. I didn't do that. Okay? You don't talk like that. 
you talk about what you do. You know, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for interviewing me. You guys, I've researched you. You seem like an amazing company. You have to talk like that. But y'all, huh, y'all want to. I can't. What does she think she was going to get out of this? A viral moment? or I, I, I don't uh, know. Uh, Scooby, Scooby Snacks and Claps from Cicada. Yeah, yeah you did that, sis. You a real one, sister. <laughs> <laughs> you a real queen, sister. You a real one. She she got us, man. But she could never be a queen because she's married to the wrong color. Well, <laughs> well, to be fair, though, she could never really be a queen because she herself is the wrong color. Oops. Damn, Kyra. Wow. All righty then. Ladies, this goofy ass bitch up here is on the, on here because this is another example of that. Listen, they don't, it doesn't work out with them. And the reason I selected her is because I told y'all dust is global. It's very global. Global. This is representative uh, um, Omar from uh, Minnesota. Okay. This woman is leaning so far left. I don't know how she can walk. Okay. It's really disgusting left-leaning, okay? She talks about racism 24 hours a day. And if I had any proof of her talking about it in her sleep, I would show y'all because I believe she does because that's all she does. SJW to all the way down to the ground, okay? This right here was her first husband, if anybody wasn't aware of that. And remind me when we go back in Discord to spill some tea about this shit here because I can't say what I want to say concerning these marriages right on this platform is completely inappropriate just remind me about representative omar and i'm gonna spill some tea about this shit here okay y'all see what y'all see on tv but eh, it's some more shit okay this is her first husband she was married to him for nine years okay didn't work out for obvious reasons this is her second husband married to him for one year didn't work out coincidentally both of them are named ahmed I'll just leave that right there because I respect community guidelines. <laughs> Let's go. Hmm. Yeah, that's her first and second husband in a picture with her. I'll bring this picture back to Discord with me when we go. Okay. Just look at it and I'm going to keep going. Anyway, this is her current husband now i want to ask y'all a question if these white if these white folks are so racist why are you fucking them six ways from sunday i know why a lot of you you're not really attracted to them like that especially you left-leaning bitches you're not but you want a traditional lifestyle where there's a husband wife and maybe some children later on down the line you can't get that in the black community because that community is not set up for that. There's too many women available to black males and the women in that community do not, they don't require them to do anything. So you're not going to find it there. So if you still want to take up for black folk, but have your traditions and the traditional lifestyle, this is what they do. Okay. Ali, you got anything on this? I selected her on purpose and I'm dragging this bitch tonight. There's something inherently fucked up about a lot of black women, particularly in this case, we're talking about swirlers. It seems like they are incapable of moving the fuck on from black issues, period. And that will always be the difference between them and a divester, by the way. Like, we have no problem with not looking back and engaging in this bullshit but something about them makes them have to hold on to that black card they just have to constantly prove to black people that they're still down that they're still black or they're still for the community and it's like girl move the fuck on with your life and be happy with your mate you fell in love with somebody or so you say you fell in love with somebody who is not black Get relax on all that other bullshit because it makes absolutely no sense. That's why I don't understand why they got to constantly prove themselves to black people to try to hold on to that black card and for what? Because who's that? Who is that worth? What is that worth? What does that mean exactly? What are you getting out of that? I don't give a fuck. If people say, Well, your black card was revoked a long time ago. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Hmm. I gave it away. I what burned mine. Thank you, Leah. 
I don't want it. Don't even try to hand it to me. Thank you. I don't I don't want to be seen with that shit. Black folk is a mess. They are a mess, ladies. So it's it's the guilt, right? You're guilty. You're feeling guilty for living your best life. So you come back and you put a little elbow grease in the shit so that you can seem like you still give a fuck. Why? Why? Where did where did this get her? DC. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Guilty for what? Living life? I mean, I'm you, I'm sorry. You have to ask them, Ebony, because I've never felt it. I'm married interracially, and I've never felt it. So well, I don't know I'm married interracially about. too, and he is very conservative. Hello. That part. And you know, I my views don't have to be his views. His look, I took the black shit and left it a long time ago and lived my life. Why can't they do that? Because they're swirlers, that's why. That's what swirlers do. They go and they try to find their happiness elsewhere because they know good and goddamn well they can't find it in the black community. And then when there's a scheduled protest, they're going to come back, leaving that bed nice and cold for that white man to sit there and chill or whatever non-black man you would. That's crazy. Those Baby. swirlers then are not a living an authentic life then. I said They're lying. I said it years ago. They got to be invited to the cookout. I don't know what it is about the culture that these people find so appealing that they just are unable to just move the fuck on and realize you are not the same person. You have married out. You are merging. You have agreed to merge your life with either somebody from another race, another culture, an entirely different community. It's an entirely different world. And I just don't understand why black women are having such a hard fucking time understanding this. I'm trying to see, with the exception of these fake pro wax, I'm trying to see when exactly do you see the lot of black men who have married out come back and constantly dip his nose in issues that affect the black community in its entirety or black women for that matter. But anytime something happens with a black man, whether it's the police is involved, the, no matter what the case is, they got to go on and start championing for that shit. And it's like, girl, sit your ass down. You ain't even married to a black man. You look like a whole fool. They're weird. They are absolutely weird. You, Like I said, you want the traditions, but you want to be with somebody that's liberal. That's crazy. And you want to be able to go ahead and fight because only a liberal white man is going to even allow or con consent or go along with you protesting and acting a damn fool and being some sort of martyr for the black community. It ain't worth it. All these people that fought for the black community and were very contrite, they ended up dying in nursing homes and shitty pampers. Don't do that shit. It's, it's a fool's errand. It really is. Anybody got anything on this? And please, ladies, that's in my Discord, remind me to spill her tea because it's some nasty tea when we get behind the wall. Let's keep scrolling. Jesus H. Christ. Yeah, this another one. This y'all, y'all, uh, Supreme Court justice that won't define what a woman is. She's also very left leaning. To see a black woman up there, that's an amazing sight to see. I won't even play like that. But she doing this shit completely wrong. Okay. She's she on some liberal bullshit as well. She was not going to be able to find what she found in him in a black man in a black community. She just wasn't going to. She dipped the fuck out, reproduced with this man, but still very left leaning. It's sad. It's sad. Oh, boy. Here we go. Now, anybody got anything to say about swirlers before I move on to Auntie? Because Auntie, she finna get her ass handed to her, too. Not Auntie. Yeah. I just want to say no. that. What did Anita do? No, Nita. No. No, don't do Nita like it. Go ahead, snap. Oh, she finna get okay. you. I just wanted to say that swirlers are mammies. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> yes. Is yes, it period? Yes. Period? Put a period on it? <laughs> I got some babies in the chat, okay? And if you don't know who Anita Baker is, you've been divested for so long, you have no idea or whatever, whatever reason, your age or whatever. Anita Baker is, this is what the black community calls her. She's a songstress and she's a legend. Okay. My mother used to listen to her motherfucking ass as well. <laughs> I hate all of her music. They're mammy melodies. They're an ode to the man. Oh, my God. And when I was a child, I couldn't understand 
that people liked her voice because it was when I was a little girl, it was very creepy to me. You know, same old loving baby. I I couldn't get with it, but they <laughs> said. <laughs> No, so she can't even sing. Oh my gosh! Well, black people think she can sing. They think she can sing. I look. I ain't touching it with a ten foot pole. But Auntie, (laughs) she done did a tour. She's doing a tour because her album, her first album, is forty years old now. Okay, it's her tour. Remember that it's the Anita Baker tour. Well, her guest star who's not a co-headliner, is Babyface. If you're young, you probably don't know who this nigga is either. So here he is. Mm-hmm. A yield sign face nigga. Okay? People, yes. <laughs> you are. Uh, you ain't right. <laughs> What's wrong with you, DC? Tonight? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. This is who was going to be her guest star, not her co headliner he just wasn't he was just gonna do a song or two and get the fuck on it was her concert well in the black community black women do not matter only black men matter so his fans babyface's real real name is kenny okay she had to get up and get her his fans off of her they were attacking her on twitter telling her she wasn't shit telling her that uh he she was doing babyface wrong Give him more time. Let's get it. He's, he's just as good as you. He got more Grammys than you. They were attacking this woman. Okay. She's been a mammy for a long time. Let me just put that out there. This is them now. And I'm going to close my lips because these are legends in Blackistan. I'll give you a couple seconds. <laughs> okay. He's ugly. He's no. so ugly. Oh, my God. Okay. I went. Face. Why? <laughs> Where? I now, I, I here's the thing. I went to a John Legend and India Ari concert in Philly once. And Why? Um, she, well, I was taken by somebody who wanted to go. So anyway, I saw that India Ari was so gracious. She says, this is not my show. I'm just going to do a few tunes for you, your enjoyment. And she gracefully exited the stage. Now, Nobody attacked her, and she, but she, she was being a good professional. She's a and, black woman. Yeah, she's a black woman. So that's yeah, it's different. I'm telling you, black men only matter. Okay, they're the only ones that matter in the black community. Of course, they dragged this woman. She's 65 years old. I was surprised that she was even on Twitter. But here's the problem: she went on ahead and got juvenile with them, and was acting a fool. These motherfuckers would have been on ignore, point blank, period. But she stayed up all day yesterday, tweeting and tweeting and tweeting. And her, his fans was coming for her. And he was mm, damn near 100% silent on the shit. So let's take a look at some of this shit. Okay? She's explaining herself. Okay? He's, he's a support. Y- y'all are crazy. He, look at the contract. She's trying to explain to them, it's my tour. He's a guest. Well, didn't go too well. She even produced... A flyer where she's the headliner. This is their flyer from May. She was explaining herself to these motherfuckers. Bear with me. I'm getting to the end of the story very very quickly. Okay? Scroll some more. So, that's one of Babyface's fans calling her Anita Jailhouse Baker, please, and putting songstress and quotations. And I mean, they were coming for her. Again, they using an unflattering picture of her like they did with the bitch from the shade room. The narrative and the and the MO, it doesn't change. This is what they do. And black women stick around for it. I don't know why. Okay, let's keep going. Here is what I wanted to get to. With all that said, ladies, Anita managed to blame white men for this. I shit you the fuck not. Uh, Kyra, you got anything? <laughs> Bitch, are well, you serious? Are you well, serious? First- no, DZ, the picture you put up of Anita, Anita, she's looking like a black Angela Lansbury. So I don't know what to say, but of course, see, this is, see, this is an issue with black males from you mammies. Y'all excuse any and all bullshit. They do really the white man. That's just like what happened to, what was it in Memphis where those five cicada cops beat up the one cicada driving? They were blaming it on the white man. 
Yeah, this is what they do. Everything is white man's fault. There was not a white man in sight when this beef started. I don't even think white men knew about it until TMZ got a hold of the shit. But how on earth is everything white men's fault? And I'm going to Aaliyah next. I just want to scroll down here real quick. Okay. I want you to see the type of gifts she was using, basically implying that the white man got baby face and the rest of these black men out here attacking her. Ma'am, Anita, since you Google yourself, that's what I heard, that you Google yourself. If you come across this video, you're 65. You're 20 years older than me. You should know by now. You should look at your song titles, and I know you know these niggas ain't worth the fuck. How about enjoy your golden years how about that why are you on here doing this i mean you are an antique mammy you understand i'm a look i can't go ahead Aaliyah. i can't this is stupid i'm not gonna say that i don't listen to anita baker i like some of her music it just depends on the song but she is an old school mammy in the same vein as Stephanie Mills, which is why they really don't like each other. But I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck a white man has to do with Babyface's minions trolling her on social media. Meanwhile, he left her hanging. See, these women need help. There's never a time when they're not blaming everything on white men. Every time a nigga is showing his ass. If Babyface cared anything about her being trolled, he would be man enough to set the record straight. So the fact that he hasn't should tell her all she needs to know. He's enjoying this bullshit. They're talking, you know, they're talking about all the songs he wrote and produced and how he's so much better than her and how he's so much more accomplished than she is. I mean, it, what the fuck does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Is her tour. He agreed to be the guest star, so that's his fault. And it's not for his fans to be trying to bully her into taking a side seat on her own fucking tour. You must have lost your damn mind. Fuck baby and his face and all his fans. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait. I'm seeing some tea in the chat. Anita Baker's son is doing OnlyFans with white women. Excuse me? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, and this is why I said you sometimes you just got to tell the internet to kiss your ass and be done with it. All these people want to do is bully other people into acting how they want you to act. And baby fact face is whack as fuck for letting them attack her knowing it's not his tour. Then again, she represents why it's damn near impossible to have sympathy for black women at any age because instead of holding his ass accountable for his silence in the midst of his fans dragging her, she looked to the nearest white man that she could to throw him under the bus when it was a black man and his flunkies trolling her. So why am I not surprised by this mammy ass shit? Just like Doesn't I'm not surprised. You, mm -hmm. Leah, I want to ask you though. Doesn't this show you how none of them have any, any kind of respect about themselves? They have no integrity at all. They do not want to take up for a black woman if she's on fire, dying, nothing. That's why I say he's enjoying this shit. That's why he hasn't said anything. If he really cared about her, if he really had an ounce of respect for this woman, he would go on to the same platform and set the record straight. But no, he's sitting back and he's enjoying this woman being dragged. And she has put she has put all this shit out there to defend herself to say, hey, call your dogs off. But he ain't he's he hasn't lifted a finger what he wants to do is the same thing is make black women look angry bitter and all yeah. this other yeah. shit and that and that's it, it unfortunately is working because that's what people are saying about her now all of a sudden anita, anita baker ain't the legend anymore all of a sudden people going around talking about she difficult to work with now all of a sudden everybody got a problem with her nobody likes her but i thought she was a legend five minutes ago before you thought she offended a black man because this is how these bitches are black men are so cringe 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 god I don't get it. So here's my thing. I, okay, stay with me. I just want to ask a question now. So how is it the white man's fault again? Look at the screen, Ebony and everybody else. This is her uh, Twitter homepage. Y'all notice where it says retired from the plantation and competition. This is this is. That oh, my God. Darling, this is the first thing you see when you go to Anita's Twitter to even look at what she tweeted. Darling. This is some old school mammy shit. 
you arguing with black men and black women. You're arguing with them. Y'all scrapping and pulling each other edges out. She still managed to blame white men for this nonsense. And this has been happening for years, y'all. The fact that they're lazy, the fact that they didn't build nothing, didn't protect you. It's not black men's fault. It's because white men are stopping them from doing it. Where? How so? I don't see that. I got a joke for you, though. Mm. A white boy from Boston told me one time, he says, I don't like her voice. I said, you don't like Anita Baker's voice? And why? She's, she sings like she's got milk in her mouth. Darling, I've never liked her voice. I'm just going to keep it real. I, I just, when I was a little girl, she used to scare the fuck out of me the way she sung. It's like, I, I couldn't, mm, I ain't going to go there. Um, go ahead. And I, I, I'm not really familiar, familiar with Anita Baker. I did see some headlines, but I didn't really delve into it. I can't really follow because I don't know her. But I will say, if she pushing 70 and she out here dropping albums and touring, see, she should have divested, then she wouldn't have to be doing this. She would be able to relax and enjoy her leisure time in her in her older age. Like, that is sad in itself. She's still out here muling and touring and taking right. this black and abuse. Like, girl, you should have divested. Like, look at this shit. And then, uh, girl, bye. Didn't her ex-hubby take I a agree. lot of money? Yeah, he took half her shit at one point, and that was a black oh, oh. man. That was I, a black man. Pull up. <laughs> I agree. If she had a divested years, she could have been out of show business 15 years ago. Look, though, y'all. Look at this. This is where she pissed me off again. So you talking about they bullying you. They're abusing you. It'll never stop. So you know that it'll never stop. And you've been new that it'll never stop because this ain't your first go at the rodeo, ma'am. She said, speak up, overcome, thrive, and move on. And then she had the nerve to use this sister's goddamn image to get her point across. You didn't fuck with her like that. Black folks will use black women, ride them like mules until their knees cave the fuck in. That includes the other mammies. And then they keep going. This was a very opportunistic and very manipulative post. Darling, you wasn't fucking with Anita like that. I'm sorry, T Tina like that. You was, you know, retired from plantation and competition because, you know, you viewed her as competition. And that's how black women do. We we, we got to compete over men and over every goddamn thing else. Hell, we out here shooting each other over parking spots and Facebook posts. OK, so anybody, Melanie, anybody, because uh, this was a mess. I will say this, and it's not so much about this story in particular, but. First of all, I'm not understanding why Anita went out of her way to explain her shit to black people. It's her tour. Like I said before, if he wants to headline, he should put his own tour together and do his own thing. But the reason why I think that this became such an issue because the same thing just happened with Escaping SWB, who showed their asses on national television about co-headlining an escape tour, and they made it a big deal. You know, only to join a tour where they were but the opening act. So you made a big deal about being the co-head, the, the opening act for Escape, but then you turned around and joined a tour where you're being just that. It makes no damn sense. And everybody talking about, well, they need the co-headline. They need the co-headline. Do, do it for the culture. Do it for the culture. Spare me with that culture bullshit because this is about basic mathematics. You have your fees for your work and I have mine. In what world is anybody expected to then split their paycheck down the middle with someone who earns significantly less than they do just because you do a project together? Only in Blackistan. See, I want all of my damn money. Who doesn't? That's just like you going to work every day and your salary is significantly different from your co-workers. And just because y'all do a project together, your co-worker can then turn around and demand to split your paycheck knowing you make double or triple what they make. Hell no. Ain't nobody taking that kind of loss. Nobody is eating off me like that. You better renegotiate your own contracts. But since black folks speak from pure emotions and personal feelings all the time, they don't understand the nature of doing business. I can like you, but I don't like you like that. The culture ain't paying these bills nor putting my kids through college. Georgia Power don't give a fuck about the culture and neither do I. Fuck the culture and run me my money. That's why this is such a huge issue. Why they feel like he should all of a sudden be co uh, co headlining with her. I'm telling you, that's what this is about. They trying to help count that woman's money. It's not about him. 
They ain't got the co headline shit. Check this well, out. That- Here's the deal. We started this out. And, uh, black women are all over the place. When we first walked in the door almost an hour ago, we got a bitch who said her chest smelled like dookie because she let niggas fucking her in the chest. We got a swirling ass mammy that's, you know, winning a Tony or giving a speech at the Tonys or what the fuck ever. She got to bring up black folks in the clan. We got Anita Baker out here fighting with black folks and blaming white men for it. We all over the place. The shit is like, it, it's, it's, socio, it's sociopath shit, in my opinion. Go ahead, Kyra. Well, I was going to circle back to what Aaliyah was saying. You know, you know, what? at the end of the day, the issue is everybody feels entitled to a black woman's pockets. I guarantee you, if this situation was reversed and, you know, it was Babyface's tour and Anita was going to be, I don't know, doing a guest spot, nobody would be talking this shit. No, absolutely. The fuck but not. Kyra, DZ. Why do people feel that they are entitled to black women's pockets? Because black women give them their money when they ask for it. Jay exactly. Right damn dime. You are everybody. Everybody wants to make a fucking hasn't meal black, out of us. Hasn't black women always been the one that's always expected to use the helping hand? Mm. Let me check the back. Miss Bess, are you dusty? No. Can you turn your mic down a little bit and then answer the question? Are you dusty? Hmm. All righty, ma'am. I'm going to put you in the back. In three, two, one. Oh, and then she comes off mute. I, I, I can't. I can't. Miss Bess, I don't know what's going on with you. I don't know whether you're dusty or not, but, you know. You know how it is over here. Unless this is your first show. your I mean, your very first show. You already knew that was going to happen. So you could chill back there for a little while if you want to. And then I'll check the back again in a couple of seconds. Okay? Now, scrolling down. This is what you see when somebody takes their video down, ladies. You know how you go across somebody. You, you subscribe to somebody. And they'll tell you, they flag me, they flag me. Well, if you're seeing this, it clearly says that it was taken down by the uploader. Okay? That I don't know why people think other motherfuckers are stupid. This is what you see. The reason I'm showing you this, because I'm getting ready to drag CBS to Chicago. That's right. I'm getting ready to drag an entire news station because you motherfuckers tried it. Okay? Earlier today and last night, there was a story up. On CBS 2 Chicago. I don't know if y'all know these stats, ladies. I don't know if you know them, but here they go. They've proven that at least in that city, that black women are the number one victims of every crime there is. Every crime. They make up approximately 16% of the population, but they make up close to half of the victims concerning that crime. Let me tell you what else they didn't say. They didn't say that who, who the predator was they sp- they did an entire nine minute spot and never said who their predator was normally and y'all already know who that is so i'm getting ready to pull this down and i'm going to show you what they put up after they took this shit down okay this shit is disgusting go ahead i'm who's trying to say something dz is it the white man that's the predator of all these black women in chicago yep and fat meat greasy girl stop it <laughs> But is it is it Chicago or the entire state of Illinois? I honestly believe it's the the entire uh, country, but I don't have any proof of that, and I try not to sort you know cite stats that don't exist. I'm gonna cite the ones that do exist that are proven already, and then I'll give you an opinion about what I think is actually going on. Okay, so they took down your spot, black women telling you, you know, be careful out here. You are the number one victims. They didn't name the predator because black men are a protected class. They're not going to say that shit. Snatched the video down, okay? Took it down. It had mm, maybe 3,000 views when I saw it. And they put this up instead. Well, brilliance and excellence. It's a mantra and the name of a movement made up of more than 20 organizations that mentor young black men in Chicago. And this morning, they united for a march against violence. Black I women, can't. stop this shit. They don't need your help. They took down something very informative and put this up instead. 
few hours later, I'm talking about eight hours later, they put it back up. I don't know if somebody came and, and, and dragged the shit out of CBS to Chicago, but they put it back up. It had a couple thousand views before they snatched it down. Now it's down to about 600 views because they didn't want that narrative out there that you the victim because that makes black men look bad because they're your number one predator. Take a look at this fucking video that took place of you dying. CBS 2's Noel Brennan takes us to the city's south side where hundreds of young men filled the streets. I think a march just opens up eyes. It brings awareness to the community. When voices are as loud as cars on the street, they're hard to ignore. We are brilliant. We are excellence. Vernon Brooks sets the pace and the volume. Am I my brother's keeper? Yes, I am. He's up front helping lead the brilliance and excellence march on Chicago's South Side. The only way we're going to make a loud voice is to come together and make a chant and march against violence. Some of us used to gang bang. Some of us used to gang bang. Not no more. Not no more. The event brings together hundreds of young black men from across the city. You see a bunch of black men marching and unified. We're not killing each other. There's no guns. There's no negative energy. It's all brotherly love. At Mandrake Park, the march ends, and basketball begins with a three-on-three -three tournament. The march was a rallying cry to bring all of our boys and men together to really support Chicago as a community and show that we can unify with each other. The message from the march resonates on and off the court. This is a movement, not a moment. Young men who take the mic plead for a safe summer. There's more work that is ahead because the march is not an answer, but there's a one way to start the solution. Yeah, that part. No so, tear gas. Listen, I'm telling y'all, when I told y'all years ago that black males are a protected class, I mean that shit. Because the video that they took down, every black woman on this planet needs to see it. I have a follower on Patreon and she hunted the shit down again. Okay. Y'all need to see this shit. I want y'all to keep in mind what they took down in order for them to make black men look like they're doing better. Okay. Because if you take a look at my watch later, right there, right up under the two videos, it's where these same niggas shot up a goddamn funeral during the same week that this March went down, pull up. There's no place sacred anymore. Churches, funerals, baby showers. They're shooting y'all everywhere. And that video needed to be seen. That shit broke my heart when they took it down because everybody needed to see this shit. Now, take a look at it real quick. I ain't gonna take y'all through the whole nine minutes, but I need y'all to see some of these stats. And remember this funky ass video that CBS2 Chicago put the fuck up in the place of it. Imagine the irony investigating in what you say Aaliyah imagine the irony what I was about to say imagine the irony of marching against violence and killing one another and all this other shit and y'all are the ones that are primarily doing it to each other and the community but y'all are marching against it I don't think that they know how ironic it is like, motherfucker, you are the culprit and you got the nerve to be out here organizing marches talking about stopping the crime and violence. You mean the crime and violence y'all commit on a, every goddamn day on a regular basis? That's what y'all protesting against? Really? D DZ. Yes, ma'am. Can, can I drag them real quick before we get serious? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Okay, all I saw was a bunch of turds walking. I know it, I know that ass went stank behind them while they were marching. Them <laughs> motherfuckers look musty as fuck. And I bet you not near one of them know how to spell brilliant or excellent. <laughs> okay, so it's the audacity for me for them to trot their little dusty, musty ass, little rock-headed ass, ignorant motherfucking terroristic asses out there trying to put on a, a show like they give a fuck or they have some anything positive going on. That's all. Thank you, because it's a show. That's all they black men have done. Slogans, shouting in the streets, or uh, they, none of them are excellent or brilliant. And the sad thing is, you know, I used to gang bang, but not no more. Come on. That's you all know, you got? Summer is upon us. 
And it's going to be a bloodbath in Chicago. It's been every year. 2022 was, 21, and so on and so forth. This little march right here, they wasted the t they literally wasted time because it's going to be a bloodbath. It always is. But I'm more insulted that you took down these very informative stats so black women can see it ain't just coming from some bitter divestors. The shit is actually real. It's real as fuck. I can't believe they took this shit down. Let's go, y'all injustice in Chicago. The goal is to make the city safer for everyone, but especially for those most impacted by crime. CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker spotlights a troubling pattern that's been ignored for years, and Dorothy joins us now live. Well, Jim and Marie, we uncover some unique facts and figures that reveal for the first time the truth about who criminals are really targeting. It's people who look like me. The intro itself is enough the intro itself is enough they took this down ladies and put them niggas up there marching our investigation exposes the causes and consequences of black women at risk we begin tonight with breaking news reports of multiple people shot on the city's west side it's all we think about multiple suspects walked up to the victim demanding his car our biggest fear breaking tonight 14s three 15 year olds and one 16 year old all shot while on a front porch being the next victim of a crime the man stumbled down the chinatown platform bleeding from his neck from a gunshot wound. But what are your chances? We're not just talking about one or two robberies here. We're talking dozens of them. Who's really the most at risk? Is it white men, white women, Asians, Hispanics, black men? No, it's not. It's women who look like Tonia Thomas. It's, it's scary. According to- Why do they march and protest then, ladies? They named- every demographic and you are the number one target but when we say that they want to they start deflecting while your body's dropping i hope they get to the numbers quickly because this this right here i hate that this happened to this young lady but let's get to the numbers according to chicago police crime data for 2022 when you look at all the offenses count all the victims black women are the most at risk period I want somebody to pull the fuck up. That link is down there. I want you to come up here and tell us that we bitter. I want you to come up here and say we fluff in the numbers and shit. Huh? I suspect that a bunch of mammies complained that y'all was exposing these niggas. And make no mistake about it, they never even mentioned them. They never even mentioned black men. But that just lets me know that you know who's actually doing these goddamn crimes. Okay? You don't make a, oh my God, I'm getting worked the fuck up. Hold up. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm getting worked up because I'm clicking on tabs that I don't need to click on. Go ahead. The bitches with the biggest mouths are quick to say how much we hate black men, but these bastards can get away with doing and saying whatever the fuck they want to say about black women or, or do whatever the fuck they want to do to black women up to and including reducing black women to tears on these raggedy ass podcasts. Like they literally can do no wrong. And this is what the fuck I'm talking about. This, th this right here is what I was talking about. The irony of them having the nerve to march and protest against the bullshit that they're doing. And people have the nerve to call our constant degradation and humiliation and our bodies dropping accountability. And the only negative thing they have ever have to say about them is that, well, they shouldn't have done this or they shouldn't have done that. See, that, that's their version of accountability. Right? So they can say, well, we said the behavior was wrong, but, you know, they ain't the only ones. And it's deflecting to what white men do. That's, it's always that. That's the fail safe. Whenever they get called out for something, we'll just change the subject. Well, it's not the only ones. It's not the only commit. They're not the only ones who commit crimes. And it's like, no, bitch, we're talking about your men, though. See, it's funny how nobody ever calls this shit what it is. They're black woman haters. Okay, that's what this is. But they're quick to call us black men haters. But this is the definition of hating somebody. When you can take that many of us out back to back and then try to pretend like the divestors are the fucking problem. Bitch, please. This is a mess, y'all. I can't wait to hear what y'all had have to say concerning what happened to that black girl that y'all just saw because I remember telling y'all on all these um 
holidays, Memorial Day, Mother's Day, Labor Day, all, all the way back into Independence Day last year. Stay home, do something, you know, a little quaint and stay out these streets because they're going to fuck you up if you keep chancing it. Well, this is a, a young lady that, you know, she went to a black folks get together and y'all know what those are. They're fucking it's, it's only a matter of time before two people start acting the fuck up. But let's go. It's honestly, it's not fair. Unfair because that 67,000 means 25% of crime victims are black women, but they make up only 16% of Chicago's population. And when the CBS2 investigators kept digging, we discovered even more disturbing data. Black women represented more than a third of kidnappings, 35% of assaults, 38% of batteries attacked and injured, 40% of rape victims, and let this sink in. Black women are 52% of human trafficking. Let all that shit sink in. Oh, white men do it to white women. <laughs> yeah, but I never hear you say white men build for white women either or protect them. How about that part, whore? These are the numbers right here. And you got the nerve to open your dick liquor, your shit log pleaser, to talk about who's bitter. Bitch, you ought to be bitter. You are taking up all the, the fucking space on the crime stats. Hmm? They have nothing but hate and contempt for black women. If, but you got these mammy ass bitches running around here telling you the opposite. And all they want to do is brush it off and pretend like it's not happening and say it's not all of them. And they want you to believe that these things actually give a fuck about black women when they don't. And they're even telling you to your faces for that they don't. And they have for quite some time now. And you know it's bad when this shit reaches mainstream media. And hell, they can't even be honest enough about the shit to keep it up. Because I'm sure it's there's always some mammy ass bitches somewhere and some bitch ass niggas somewhere running their mouth about their image and how this makes them look bad instead of them trying to correct the fucking behavior. Oh, you worried about how your, if this makes your image look? What about what the fuck you doing? Fuck your image for a second. Look, y'all, I'm going I'm to pass the mic in one second. I want to say something to y'all. If one of you bitches try to pretend they didn't take it down, she sat up there and lied. Oh, darling, I got my screenshots together with the original link to this video. This link that you see up here on my screen, that's when they re-uploaded. I don't know who the fuck got on their ass, but they re-upload. This is their second time uploading this shit, and they replaced you and that information that you needed to get right there with niggas marching in the street talking about stop killing. Okay, who was trying to talk? This this is real triggering to me. I wanted to piggyback off of what Aliyah is saying because another thing I've been seeing is a more insidious conversation on the sector of YouTube. You know, the so-called feminist black women who are doing the whole "all men are bad." You know, thus he's coming every race. Uh, no one said that other groups of men that there were no issues in other groups of men but look at these damn numbers stop pretending like black males are no worse than any other group of men they are the worst and we are getting fucked up for it because of our silence and because we're trying to pretend like there's something they're not mm. That's it. And then these and I talked about this the other day too. That's the narrative that they want to keep putting out there. Like somebody over here said that white men were perfect. Nobody over here ever said that. But let's put it this way: while the white man may not be perfect, nobody is. It, it can't be any worse than what you're already getting. This is what you're getting. Oops. You make up in the teens of the population, but you're creeping up on half the victims. How about that part? Let me check my back. Um, Miss Bess, are you dusty? No. Why are you Why yelling? are you yelling? I'm sorry. I didn't know if you could hear me. I'm sorry. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. How you doing? I'm fucking I'm amazing. Fucking amazing. You got and a, you got a echo. I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you I'm enjoying the show. Oh, it sounds oh, it like, sound like you your ass, your ass, ass girl. Miss Bess, you <laughs> back. Back. Claire, are you dusty? Claire, you're going to have to come off mute and answer whether you dusty. If you don't, I'm going to bang your account. Um, hi. Uh, a little bit. Okay, well, go fuck yourself. Bye, bitch. Yeah. Um, crazy cat lady. Are, is this your real account? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, Boozy. Um, I'm a little late to the lie because I was out running errands. 
But mm-hmm. did I just see that you said that black women getting fucked up was on the news? Uh, yes, like, ma'am. And it got snatched the fuck down and they put up something so-called positive about black men. This all happened in less than a 24 hour period. And this is nuts. They're protected. That's why they did that shit. Okay. So my question for you, mammies and fence sitters, um, even though I know the mammies and the fence sitters got it snatched, but mammies, fence sitters, the fact that that information made it to White Zaddy's news channel. Do you finally fucking believe us now when we say that black men are trash and they're killing us? Like, is it finally going to get through your thick skull that they are dangerous? Is, that, is, is it finally going to get to you that it was on White Zaddy's news channel? Like, uh, I'm just wondering. That, I'm just no, wondering, man, if you consider No crazy cat lady, because they're going to say that those statistics are, you know, racist because, you know, the white man specifically calculates it that way to make black males look bad. (laughs) You're right, Kara. You're right. But the fact that it even got up on the news, you mammies and fans sitters better start learning. You better start listening to Dizzy. You better start listening to us divested ladies or you're going to wind up in the other realm, in the upper room, whatever you call it. All right, DZ, I love you guys. Panel, panelist ladies, I love you guys. Divested women, I love you guys. Fuck off, mammies and fence sitters. I'm going back <laughs> in the chat, and I can't wait to be on Discord so I can say the hard R. Love you. Yes, Bye. ma'am. Bye. DZ. Bye. Yes, ma'am. DZ, I want to say something. Well, if they took that one down, because it has been very difficult to get the whole issue of, 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 you know, black women being victims out there. It's always a little blurb over here or there. I'm beginning to think these fools are truly suppressing our pain. They are suppressing news stories in the news rooms. You know, when they're talking about what they're going to pitch, they're going to, they cut our stories before they even get on air. So I thank thank God you you found this. You know, good and well that, when black women think black men's image is being tarnished, they form Voltron and they go over and they attack people. Look at what happened. It happens all the time. When you look at it, they've, they haven't mentioned black men as a predator once they were naming black men, white men, Asians, and so on and so forth as the other different demographics versus how the crime stats pan out. They never once said anything about black men. Now, because mammies know who is putting these crimes up up on the side of black women's head, they like, you got to take that down. You got to take that down. There was no other reason to pull this shit down. It was only up for a couple of hours, y'all, a couple of hours. And let's talk about the numbers real quick. Ladies, they wasn't interested in that video like that. But when these black men, and they put these black men video up, Everybody was interested to see our black men getting better. And this is what I'm telling you about a lot of these other platforms. That's their wish. Please, please, please let it be. Let it be true. Black men, y'all are getting better. You don't want to kill anymore. You're going to stay for your kids because that's what they want. But what's coming out of their mouth is, you know, ooh, I can't say that up here. What's I don't know. Of, yeah. Maybe the unicorns uh, told them to take it down and they're going to get better. I don't know. I but doubt it. Unicorns it, don't give a fuck. Exactly. And they, they, you know, they don't exist anyway. But here's my thing. Okay, so if stats don't exist or the stats are racist somehow, you know what this tells me? Black community is just one big sea of toddlers. Look, Immature, childish, ridiculous, ignorant toddlers. Amber, Ivory, they took the video down so motherfucking fast. And then when you scroll down to look at the comments, there were hardly any. Nobody gave a fuck. Nobody gave a fuck. Okay? And look at the low views on this shit since they put it back up. Okay? That black male doing positive shit video is doing way better than this video is. Okay? And partly, y'all, it's because people know that y'all gonna still deal with black men. They know that a lot of your your protesting about how they're doing terrible and the white man won't let them. It's just white noise at this point. At the end of the day, black women are going to be with black men. They're going to fight over them. They're going to shoot each other over them. They're going to prefer them. They're going to always be number one on their list. That's why I tell you, you better get the fuck away from these people. Seeing numbers like this and you stay, you dealing with a crazy ass bitch. 
if you see these numbers and you still stick around fucking around with black folk, you are out of your goddamn mind. All right. I'm just going to play a little bit more of this and then I'll get this shit from up here. Victims. Remember, they're only 16% of the population. To have to navigate through life knowing that you'll potentially become a victim of a crime, primarily because of your race and your gender combined. It's mafia. Thomas survived a rape. Um, this is all the paperwork from, from the hospital. But she still feels the pain. Um, what happened to me, it won't go away. It happened here, this West Side apartment building at a friend's party. I did have a couple of drinks, um, but nothing too crazy. Pictures of a happy, smiling Thomas were taken just minutes before. That's y'all's get together. All right, you posted it on Facebook. Listen, divesters know when we see these pictures, it's like, oh, okay. Uh, I wonder who got shot at that party. We already know the tea. We already know the tea, and you should know it by now. Before she felt dizzy and went to the bathroom. The police report details the horrors of the criminal sexual assault. I remember being in the bathroom with my, um, the person who assaulted me. And I remember just trying to like get out, get out of the restroom. Um, but I couldn't get out. The car was parked actually right there on the corner, right before the stop sign. Even when it comes to nonviolent crimes and reports where police record race, black women. I, I couldn't believe it like Evelyn Sparks, are targets. Black women account for 24% of property thefts, arson, 28%, car thefts, 29%. Again, they're only 16% of the population. So y'all get it, okay? And I'll leave the link to this video in the comment section once this video uploads, but y'all understand where this is going. Every single crime, both nonviolent and violent, you're the number one victim. And I have to fight with mammies, you know, about little, little bullshit. This shit was plain, okay? And I'm telling y'all, y'all the number one victims. And it seems like y'all notice something. Hear me out. Every time it get a little serious around here and the numbers can't be disputed and everything that we've said is being proven, I get a mammy that calls up saying that she's dusty. Have y'all ever noticed that? Every single time it gets real around this motherfucker, you got to, you know, a uh, uh, what do you call it? Neck bone face bitch calling up here, you know, sitting up there trying to get the neck bones from between her fucking teeth, trying to stop the flow. All right. Anyway. Um, can I, can I say can Yes. I, um, sorry. My, my wires got crossed it there. I was going to say, like, I feel like with this article, unfortunately, um, there's just no reasoning with degenerate remedial people including mammies so they're just not going to get it but for the women who have a chance of waking the fuck up and recognizing i just want y'all to really let that marinate that last story um you're the target every single time because they know that they can get away they can get away with it there is really no um consequences for them so that is why it's very important that you do not go to these ghetto ass kickbacks or whatever the right. fuck they called in 2023. Do not go, first of all, period. And, you know, just take precautions to protect yourself because you are, you're being hunted and targeted by Taekwondarius and them. And sometimes he will use one of his mammy friends and sisters and cousins and them to lure your ass into his hand. So, but this is why, because... There's no consequence. It's extremely, it's a free-for-all. It's open season. So stay the fuck away from them. That whole fucking community. Take heed. Let it marinate. Watch your drinks. Stop letting people pour drinks. If you're going to deal with Blackistan, which you should not be doing. So we don't see you up here on this screen. Stop letting motherfuckers bring you drinks at Black parties. Stop going to the bathroom and leaving your drink un, un you know, Tended to. You can't do that. She said she went to the bathroom to pee after she had her drink and she was dizzy. Okay? Somebody slid something in there and they went on ahead and ruined her life. They ruined her life. That type of shit, it doesn't go away. You can get therapy, absolutely. But no therapist can get it to go away 100%. And you're going to live with that for the rest of your life. So if y'all getting ready for July 4th and all this shit here, hey, do your thing and I will cover your fucking story, bitch. <laughs>
tell your family to go ahead and sign a release up there at the news station and I will cover it because this is unnecessary. A kickback? She wasn't walking back to her car from her job. She got dressed and went to the kickback. So it was unnecessary. I, I got to say this, and I, I got, I'm keeping it so real right now. I'm, I'm really, really serious because this is why we say black women, particularly the younger black women, because we know a lot of the older black women are lost causes at this point. You have to move because if there is not that, because at this point, there is not one community that these men have not fucked over. I'm mm -hmm. so serious. And people are starting to not care what offends black people, myself and many other people included, because people are just tired of all the race talk from black people who have already shown themselves to be some of the most self-absorbed, insensitive, disrespectful people ever when it comes to race relations in this country. This is the same community they had to launch a Stop Asian Hate campaign against. I mean, did y'all forget about that? Well, with all your talk about image, I want you to think about what that really means for the group who complains about race the most, particularly as it relates to how the black man is treated within this country. It's always, you know, they're all on camera drop kicking old Asian ladies, pushing Asian women in front of trains, putting Asian men in comas while out on bail, mowing down innocent white people in parades, killing a whole lot of people, robbing, body slamming, and paralyzing women that they follow from banks and shit. They're bullying pregnant white women over bikes and shit. All these videos are out here in circulation, and now you have this that has reached the mainstream media on, you know, see where I'm going with this? The same Absolutely. ones always having meltdowns over race are the same ones that people are tired of hearing and complaining about at this point. You know, and it's getting to the point where nobody is going to care. And the race that they have caught these incidents on camera, you know, fucking over other races is astounding. And y'all better be careful with some of this language y'all are using while keeping in mind what your community has shown people. And then you come back here and lecture us about the way we say things. And then you tell me why you think you pretty soon, why you know for a fact pretty soon you won't be welcome anywhere or within anybody else's community. Well, and that's just keeping it real. She's she's absolutely right. Now imagine y'all on lunch break or y'all just got off fucking work. You simply fixing to go get some greasy spoon bullshit because you don't feel like cooking. You go off into the goddamn place and you trying to order you something to eat, and this your people right here. <laughs> And you go somewhere and got the nerve to say they was him, they was being funny when I came in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because they got access to internet too, darling. But they judging us all the same. That's the same shit you do to white people. Pull up, whore. You do the same thing. I see this all the time. This is how y'all act. And then when you get in front of the Congress and got a chance to speak, we just want the same opportunities of education. And we want to know our history where we fuck that. This is y'all's people right here. I can't. I mean, this is why I say if they're not careful, if especially younger black women, if you don't start moving more strategically, you got to understand that you won't be welcomed anywhere or within anybody else's community at this point. And that's just keeping it real. But then again, we know y'all don't like real. Y'all like fake 
pretending to be real. So that's the reason why it's so I know what we're saying is difficult to take. It's ugly. It's the truth. And that's why it's hard. It's, uh, it's a hard pill to swallow. You don't like it. But this is the fact of the matter. This is what y'all people keep putting out there. And we're not even going to get on the fact that Jocelyn Hernandez just got through fighting and showing her ass. This is all y'all. This, this is what's out there. They Constantly. act like nobody can not see them. They act like nobody can. <laughs> Black people think they live in a bubble. All of they wretched shit be happening in the bubble. Like you do it on Instagram, post it on Instagram. Like white people ain't on Instagram. Like they don't see that shit. Honey, you don't live in a bubble. They see you in these communities and everywhere else and at these greasy spoon places. I'm starting to think there's something in, in fast food. Why y'all always cutting up at fast food restaurants? I got to know. Let me check well, the back. Go ahead. And then see, I'll check it's, the not, it's not just fast food restaurants. These mammies in particular have been cutting up at airports. On, in, on yes. Airports. What the fuck is that about? Why are they cutting they up at the airport? Every fucking where they go. This is this is the deal. People be scared to say, you know, ma'am, um, listen, I need you in this place right here. And it's not no offense to you. I promise you. I'm glad you're here. And thank you for, you know, your patronage. I'm going to need you to take off that bonnet because this place has a dress code. Lord have mercy. We got to conjure up Dr. King's spirit to come up and get us some civil rights around here. Let me let me get these people out the back. Uh, Mother Jira, is this your account? And are you dusty? No, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How are you? I'm easy. I'm not dusty. I have been listening to you for like, I guess, two years now. I, I see just... you down in the chat. I just had to make sure that you, yeah. you because people tend to uh, imitate y'all accounts and come back yeah. here, girl. Yeah, no. Um, well, I wanted to, I guess, reintroduce myself because I think I sent you my victim's impact statement like two years ago. I don't know if you remember that. I do. Yeah. And so you told me something and I'll never forget it. You said, you know, it's going to stay with you for the rest of your life. And when you show this, you know, this news a video of this girl, I kind of had to just like call in and just be like, you know, yeah, this almost happened to me, but I wasn't in a black standing party. I was going to move my freaking car because of how I work. You know what I mean? So it's, it's like you can't you can't avoid it, you know? Yeah, when you be around black folks, that's that's the type of shit that's going to happen. It's just who they are. There is no consequences. And black women, they still entertain them as if they're a viable group of men. They know all these crime stats. They do. They knew it before I put this video up here. Pull up. But they're going to deny it because these are the motherfuckers that fall out of that funky ass snatch that y'all got pH balance problems from because y'all keep fucking these niggas. Yeah, that part. That That's their sons. That's their daddy and that's their brother. And that's the, they, they're not prepared to admit that the people that are their counterparts are trash. Yeah. Yeah. Period. He just, yep. He just saw me. He just followed me and saw me. So it wasn't like, well, let me just, I guess, say the backstory. I don't know if I don't want to. No, don't, don't, it. don't, don't cover that up here. Mm -mm. No, I don't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Don't do that. It's pretty, it's pretty bad, but um, it, you can't escape it. You have to just move. You have to protect yourself, carry something. You know, you can't just be walking around. Yeah, I listen. It's so good to hear from you. I'm so glad you came yes. up, y'all. I read her victim impact statement, and it was it was a mess. So y'all gonna have to be careful out here. Like I said, get your feelings off your sleeve. If I ever meet one of y'all in person, seriously. You and I will get the fuck along. We will because it's gonna be all logic. We're gonna we we we're gonna get it popping. We're gonna drink our coffee, we're gonna gossip and talk some shit, and then we you'll love me in person. I promise you will. While I'm up here talking about this shit, though, this is this is a mess and it's scary. I look like you. Aaliyah mm -hmm. looks like you, mm -hmm. and those people on those fucking autopsy tables look like you. Okay. But thank you for coming up. Yes, ma'am. Yes. As terrible okay. as these stats are, uh, and they've just got worse and worse over the years, I'm, <laughs> I hate to say it, but this gives the early divesters validation. The ones who were basically castigated mm -hmm. from the black community for the, really, it was safety. Okay. We, I mean, saw it as rejection, but it was safety. Mm -hmm. um, th this is a group of people who haven't gotten it together for millennia. Yeah, I'm not talking centuries, millennia. 
Mm -hmm. They have sold each other, sold out each other. Now, everybody, because of black men, everybody sees you as a victim, especially black men. And you and, and you want to see these people as viable mates? Ah, nah. <laughs> Y'all, let's keep it real. Let's keep it real tonight on this beautiful Taco Tuesday. A lot of black women know, they know that black men have nothing to offer. Nothing. So they uh, emphasize, I'll use that word, what they think black men do have to offer. And what is that? Big dick. <laughs> Coming from a nurse. Uh, the BBC is a fucking myth. I have stuck 16 French Foley catheters in a lot of them in my fucking life. And some of them look like second belly buttons. Pull the fuck up. But with mammies, that's their only attribute. So they're going to, oh my God, he caved my, my hip in. And he broke my back. And all, that's their only thing that they that black men so-called bring to the table is fucking your hip out of place so that he'll have somewhere to stay. Easy. This should. This is too easy. No, and as a di infectious disease specialist, I would venture to say that it. I don't care what size their dicks are. Keep your dicks far the fuck away <laughs> from me, okay? Please and thank you, because I guarantee you, I know exact. I, look, I've seen you. I probably treated you, and that's all I'm gonna say. At this that point, hearts, let me check the back. Child, them things be having all types of smells. Oh, Lord. Um, if y'all want to do donate something to the black community, donate some soap, water, and a book. God damn. Uh, VW, I see you back here. What you got going on, ma'am? Uh oh. Hey, good evening, ladies. Good evening. Hi. Um, when you posted that uh, CBS News uh, segment, one of the reasons I think it probably was taken down because of that mayor that they, I ain't going to say we, they have that, I, I almost said called them our word. Um, I'm surprised it even got that far that they even put that story up there because of who the mayor of Chicago is. But okay, one thing, you, you live in Chicago, correct? So you saying they took it down because of the mayor? That's I'm, yeah, I'm thinking that's what it is. You you have to understand Chicago politics. It's it's a whole nother beast. Yeah, I'm trying to put whole... two and two together. Him being the mayor has to do with let's what? see. Because the crime is so bad here now, and everybody's getting on him, and he's sitting up here just you know uh, how can I say this deflecting, lying. Keep saying, oh, the children, they need help. It's because of poverty. You know the old excuses that most black folks give. Yeah, and, he's saying that because he looked like the people that's committing them crimes. That's number but that's one. My, that's my point. That's my point. And, and when I was looking at that story, they, they were showing black women and the stats, this, that, and third. But you see, they still did not tie those creatures. Uh -huh. They did not outright still come out and say, that's why I hate looking at those type of news reports. Because they never going to tell the fucking truth. They That's the same thing with the BWE platforms and all these people that can't claim they care about crime. You got to name what the problem is. And it ain't poverty. OK, because ain't nobody R wording you because they hungry, bitch. That, how does that even make any sense? That I ain't even... got no I ain't got no food. And I ain't got no money in the bank. Let me go out here and fuck. What? It doesn't make any sense. They're just disgusting motherfuckers. That's why they're doing that. And and that's the thing. I'm 55 years old. I want to get this this, this shit y'all saying now. I got stories. That, what happened to that girl at that party happened to me when I was 18 years old. See what I'm saying, ladies? So, Do you see what I'm saying? It's and common. I got so many stories going like Chicago. I'm really trying to finally get myself up out of here now because I got so many stories. And I'm just talking about me. But long story short. I had to quit a couple of jobs because it was so unsafe for me as a black woman just to even work. Black people literally, when they say black males in particular cost the economy $50 billion, mm -hmm. black people, messing around with black people will cost you. You mm -hmm. will never be able to yes. get financially ahead if you're dealing with black people. They cost you more than anything. Even if so-called, and I must just say, I never exist, believe that racism existed. It was created by white, I mean, sorry, by black women to cover for their sons yeah i could go with that because the thing is how are you the number one educated in these pwis and shit uh how if you're being oppressed i'm sorry 
ain't no amount of oppression in the world to excuse what the black community got going on. I don't give a shit. Does racism exist? Probably some goddamn where. <laughs> Hello. But it ain't fixing to stop me from doing shit. Pull up. Well, I say this, uh, DZ, and I'm going to let you go. I would say racism do exist, but not the way that black folks saying it. Black mm -hmm. folks are the most racist people, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, it exists, but it's not in the way that the story is being portrayed in the media and by black folks. Yeah. But my thing is, I want to know why are these creatures the most protected and the least productive, least producing members of society? VW. Do more than these males do. VW is because black women sanctioned it. They said, leave them alone. Stop putting them in jail. Give them jobs. Stop chastising them. Let the, they, let, leave them alone to let them do their crimes in peace. That's what black women said. And then they turned around and gave them 18 pounds of pussy on top of that. And they keep giving them babies. There is zero incentive for a black man to change, number one. And number two, he can't. He can't. But I'm saying, though, we're 13% of the U.S. population. <laughs> it's what I'm saying. The black community doesn't make any sense. That's the bottom line. Look at all the stuff that we've covered so far tonight. And we still got some more shit to go. Look at this. Look at it. Bitches chest smelling like dookie. Motherfuckers taking up for black folk while they're getting Tony Awards and shit. You got Anita oh Baker God. who's supposed to be a fucking legend out here Twitter fingering it up and mammying it the fuck up blaming white men for that. All these news stories plus the stats. I mean they're everywhere. And it's like y'all I gotta close the door behind me because I, I can't. You know but I appreciate you coming up VW. Alright thanks. You all have a good evening. You too dear. Yeah. And I'm going to want to say, I think VW may be onto something with that, that, you know, racism was made up to cover for the feelings of these thugs. Mm hmm. I agree. Um, CJ, are you dusty? No, ma'am. Thanks for taking my call. <laughs> Absolutely. What you got, dear? Um, so I also wanted to chime in about the um, news story. So I saw it earlier today. And I read the comments and I'm like, yeah, they're going to take this down. <laughs> so the comments are basically asking who's the one that's committing these crimes? Who are the perpetrators? Mm -hmm. And um, I actually thought they were just going to censor it, but they took it all the way down. But nobody's out here stupid. People aren't stupid. They know who's doing it. Um, but they can pretend all they want. And like the previous caller said, it is you know, mostly political because of the image that the mayor and the administration wants to portray about the city. So you ultimately know? you're being sacrificed, black women. You are being sacrificed. They can't talk about your death because they have to keep black men looking like they're not being, you know, singled out as pre predators. You know, the brute stereotype that uh, the hoteps like to complain about. So ultimately your life's being sacrificed. That's why I say you got to, when you talk about image, for a while, look at what's already out there. You fuck that image shit because see, look at what this is what they have done. At this point, there is not one group of people that they are not on camera fucking over. I mm. promise you. And I, that's why I say if we don't learn how to move strategically, we're gonna get caught up in that shit. And don't get me wrong, a lot of men is gonna go down with the Titanic. They gonna stay. They gonna do go. Right along with this shit willingly because the black man is the victim of absolutely everything, no matter the circumstances, no matter the situation. Even after seeing all of that shit, you got a mammy somewhere that can't wait to dispute this shit and still talk shit. And it's like, girl, the, hit, the shit go, hit the proof, go. But mm -hmm. they don't want to hear that shit. Um, I did want to chime in and make another point um, along with what Aaliyah said. And I think it's important. I think a lot of women are probably intimidated about, you know, divesting and moving away from, you know, the community. But I think it's important that we kind of learn to build friendships and alliances with other women, you know, um, and not be as envious or jealous all the time or think that everybody's out to get us. See, you know? let, me let me tell you something real quick. You cannot make alliances with a mammy. You can't. Because as soon as a human being that's black walks in and has a penis, 
she gonna throw your motherfucking ass up under the bus. Y'all ever sat with one of your friends at any time, whether you were divested or not, and you and her having a great time. I mean, cackling it the fuck up. Just you and her. As soon as a nigga walk in, her whole demeanor changes. It's like, what, you okay? You know, what's wrong? I mean, she's standoffish. Her, her inflections change, everything. Because that's what it's all about with them. So there will be, not be an alliance, not with no mammy. <laughs> Never. No, absolutely not. But, you know, Becky, Maria, Mayling, they might be options. <laughs> Look, we gonna have to do something. Because um, the only, you know... The only thing black women really can do is divest. That's all they can do and put themselves first and make sure that they are taken care of. Point blank, period. As far as a collective Absolutely. goes, it'll never happen. Not a collective. Okay. And I wish Thank that you. black women could get, get along. I do. I wish black women could get along better than this. But as long as there's a dick that's going down, baby, they ain't going to get along with you. But CJ, I appreciate you so much. Thank you. Have a good night. I'll continue to listen from the other end. Yes, can ma'am. I, um... Can I follow up from CJ's point and then something VW said a little while ago? Absolutely. I think another thing that like divesters should do is kind of dis distance yourself from the racist thing. Cause like, is it is it really racism or is it that people have standards and preferences and they don't want degeneracy fucking their shit up? You know what I'm saying? So I mean, like, come on, it's in 2023. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing that black people have all the privileges. They can literally look at somebody wrong and get them fired or suspended or on administrative leave. They can wreak havoc in these fast food establishments with little to no consequences. I mean, I'm not seeing it. I, I see that white people are being very mistreated lately um, in current white men in particular. But um, yeah, so I would just say, Cause just try to, you know, just try to look at it a little differently from a lens of somebody that's dis disconnected from the victim narrative. And you might see that so-called racism very differently. And it's, it's better for your mental health. It's damn near illegal to be a white man that's this hit. That's what they call it over there at Roar Jeep is. It's almost, it's almost illegal. They call that toxic masculinity. Traditional men that provide protecting problems all. It's damn near illegal at this point. They they want to pick your brain or what you think about such and such and so on. So I I have no thoughts on it. You won't get me to talk about none of this shit in public. That part. I mean, but what you said. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, but I was gonna um talk about something you said. Uh, well, you know, kind of piggyback off of it. After all of these stats, y'all. After everything you saw, and I always tell y'all, black women continue to give them coochie, and also we have the little sixty two percent that we talked about. There is no consequences, ladies. OK, look at look at what they have to do in Chicago after I'll just let it explain it itself. This is stupid. Coming together for a community baby shower on the city's south side. Have y'all ever heard of such a thing? Have you ever heard of such a thing? A community baby shower? I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. The only way you would need a community baby shower is if it's a whole bunch of pregnant bitches. Huh? It's a whole bunch of pregnant little girls pull up. They don't want to talk about that. Whole bunch of high schoolers and other aged women that's pregnant. I've never heard of a community baby shower in my entire life. Uh, well, in the black community, you got to have those because them niggas fuck and bounce. Somebody got to feed that little bastard, though, don't they? Let's go. We do this because as we go out in the local community, we see that there's needs. The local high schools have quite a few number of expecting moms and so, so where's the birth control where is you fighting for legislature because i know all day baby daddies ain't in high school you want to you want to play in my face let's do it i know all day baby daddies ain't in high school with them y'all know what black men give okay so instead of rewarding terrible behavior maybe we should see what happens when we make people take care of their children on their own Let's go. So this is a benefit and a blessing to them. The True Believers Community Connections charity teamed up with Chicago Police to host the shower in Auburn Gresham. The event was open to all current and expecting mothers, along with plenty of music and food and gifts. The shower also featured a diaper giveaway. Much so Chicago women, the one of y'all that's on that whole type shit or that pro black shit, and y'all hate police. 
They're the ones that's buying your kids diapers. I hope y'all picked up on that. The police help pay for that shit. So you can't stand the police. But when you sitting up ooching and ooching and oh, get it, daddy, into a motherfucking nigga, when that baby come, the police paying for your diapers and milk. Is that what I'm saying? You hmm. want to know what a contraception is? Sitting at the um their local health departments in those bands, all they gotta do is ask for it. They'll give it to you for free. You ain't even gotta pay for it. They won't go and get anything you want. Condoms, female condoms, dental dams. It don't matter. All of it's there for free. Well, do you DT, think those people going to get that shit? Mm-hmm. Well, DT made a very good point. Let's let's not pretend what's also not going on. We know that a good portion of those high school girls are pregnant by a man that is over age they were preyed upon but instead of but instead of you know getting on birth control or taking them to the clinic because i'm not opposed to that you want to talk about well every child's a blessing Mm, yeah it's too much truth that's going down in this particular live stream okay we're not getting ready to put any syrup on shit and call it pancakes it's not happening The black community is a mess. And if you give one iota of a fuck, you would get the hell away from this fucking show tonight has been a cacophony of nothing but bullshit coming from black people on every goddamn angle. Okay. They Mm -hmm. make this shit a whole community affair. That is so embarrassing. I'm sorry. Was somebody trying to say something? I I was what I was saying was I used to uh, see the girls come in to deliver. And you ask them, you know, oh, where's the father? Of course, you know, I'm embarrassed standing there. But uh, a lot of these girls did not reveal the father's name because it's mama's boyfriend. That part. Let me grab one more person from the back. Um, Amanda, your camera's on, dear. Oh, I got one even better. What about the ones who don't know? Because now we got this random hookup culture where everybody um, is meeting everybody off all these fucking dating apps. And so they fucking each other without knowing. You don't even know this person's last name. This person could have a whole wife or a whole husband or a whole family somewhere. And you fucking people, you don't even goddamn know. And then first thing they do, the first sign that of any type of trouble is run on the website and change their names. And then folks having to try to launch investigations to try to hunt these people down because all this, these different exposures are going on. See, this is what I'm saying. When you are behind the scenes and you actually get to see the consequences of all the shit that these folks are out here doing, they, didn't, they sat up here and they should let you know that this shit is an epidemic. And instead of them out here trying to educate these girls, they turn this shit into a community affair where they can show up. And you don't think that this is enabling that? That type of behavior that like part. really that part look amanda are you dusty amanda are you dusty that's number two all right amanda and three you whores are embarrassing your mama no, is a fucking you. weirdo and that you she should have aborted your ugly ass bitch get the fuck off my live whore God damn these cowards or something else. Check it out, y'all. This is the deal. I always like to end on a very, very good note. Ladies, get over the bonnet. Let's 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 go ahead and have fun right now. Let's have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Child. Y'all, black women are something else. Amanda, I saw your motherfucking face and you tried that shit. But since I'm not a doctor, you ain't got nothing to worry about with your ugly ass. <laughs> Well, her voice, is, her voice is ugly. She sound ugly. She a whack-ass, hating-ass bitch with all that mouth in the back chat. Girl, bye. Uh, yeah, they, they know I'm not a doctor. That's why they, she probably don't give a fuck that I saw her face. But anyway, let me move this from down here. Um, like y'all, said, go ahead. Now, I just about to say, um, tell that bitch my office hours are <laughs> 745 <laughs> to 430 Monday through Friday. And I'll see you soon. Okay? <laughs> let that bitch know. I just want to let that bitch know that. Listen, y'all gonna have to turn y'all speakers down just a little bit. I think this might be recorded a little loud. So those of y'all that are on headphones, I'm giving you like a 10 second warning. Okay. Get get your volume down while I talk to you real quick. Ladies, listen. These people... We just found out outside of just looking terrible and looking like you just got the fuck up out of bed. There's a good reason why they don't want you wearing bonnets and they shit. 
okay? They don't want you wearing bonnets in there because of what I'm fixing to show you. All right? Let's go. Whoa, what the hell? Got the butterscotch cake. I know they heavy, brother. You got the three inch. Ooh, <laughs> Ladies, they exposed her name, and I kept my banner up there so nobody would see her name. But of course, we're we gonna talk about that behind the wall. So you mean to tell me that you going in places? with your bonnet on and stealing people's shit and it's in your bonnet congratulations dumb bitch they gonna start making y'all pull the motherfuckers off so they can check it before you get on planes before you come in stores before you leave stores okay i couldn't believe what the fuck i saw um apparently this child on that she steals a lot of shit it, it looks like a lot of food items and shit i cannot do you understand and we sitting up here to there was somebody in the comment section i swear on my life well, it was just a wig. Them people come in our communities and they steal from us. You see how they don't understand anything about business? You pay for stuff at a store and the store stays. You have like a symbiotic relationship, but you 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 probably even got to look up symbiotic. That was a hot ass mess. Um, I thought that was hilarious. You and your bonnet. Nobody can trust you any fucking more. You look a mess. You look like uh, you're uncomfortably built. You look like you have several like small infant pillows tucked in. Why on earth do bitches with bonnets love to show off all of that voluptuousness all over the place? It looks like a busted can of biscuits that has an attitude problem. Huh? I want to see that one more time. Whoa, what the hell? Got the butterscotch cake. Cock and cock. I know they heavy, brother. You got the three inch. Ooh, <laughs> After they showed her name, she said she was going to take the wig back. Girl, don't nobody want that funky ass nut smelling wig. I bet you that wig smelled like turkey nuts chitlins and a whole bunch of other shit that I, I can't i can't keep keep the wig and go ahead and do the 90 days in jail with your stupid ass ladies i'm headed to discord okay and there's a post um concerning you know your, your std crunch down there that you might want to see on patreon one of y'all favorite chefs that y'all support yeah he he had a little something to say and just be safe out there i love you divested ladies to the moon and back and i will see y'all on friday Bye. Bye, y'all. Peace. That boy was yelling on that goddamn song. Shit. <laughs>